Why is it that a woman will do all kinds of crazy kinky things in the bedroom for one guy, but be a complete vanilla prude for another? Every girl has that kinky side to her. They've done perverted things in the bedroom before for some guy. So you might as well make sure that you're included in that exclusive group, my friend. And today, I'm going to teach you how. The two key insights I'm going to teach you today are one, making sure that the frame you have with her is one that makes her want to fully submit to you. And two, is knowing how to walk a woman through an experience she's never had before and needs time to get comfortable with. If you want her to basically get on her knees and say, yes, daddy, I'll do whatever you like, then you have to be the kind of guy that makes her want to naturally submit in the bedroom. If you want her to be in a vulnerable, submissive situation, then she needs to know that she's safe with you. So if you've clearly demonstrated your ability to take charge and lead her outside of the bedroom, then she is more naturally gonna fall into this submissive role inside the bedroom. It requires dominance. It requires an unwavering confidence in yourself and in what you're doing to her, whilst also requiring this level of trust, certainty, and safety that she gets from you taking the lead and being in charge. You also need to be in an abundance mindset because she needs to know that you can just walk away. This is what makes her want to please you in order to keep you around. For example, let's look at the psychology of a woman submitting with anal sex. Butt stuff is one of the most submissive sex acts a woman can do because it's not necessarily pleasurable for her. It's all about his pleasure. Now, women absolutely can get off from anal sex, but if it's her first time, it's probably gonna be more physically challenging than pleasurable, which is what makes it such a dominant sex act for the man, because she is submitting her body purely for his pleasure. She is putting him first. The next part of being the kind of guy who she naturally submits to is understanding where her own experience level is at. If you're introducing her to something completely new, then you can baby step her through that experience rather than making her dive head first into something very extreme. As an example, if I was gonna introduce a girl to rope bondage, I wouldn't tie her whole body up and hang her from the ceiling as a first experience. I'd start with something simple, like tying her arms together or tying her legs together so she can get a taste of things to come. And more importantly, this allows her imagination to take over getting her even more aroused for the next time that I tie her up. As another example of this baby stepping principle, I coached a guy once who wanted to pee on girls. Not my kind of thing, but more power to you. My advice to him was to start by doing it in the shower, doing it in a place where it's easy to clean up and it's actually kind of barely noticeable that the act is going on in the first place. This way, she doesn't feel so overwhelmed by it that she rejects it out of pure nervousness. There's infinite possibilities for having a fun and exciting sex life with your partner. And if you wanna dive more into the psychological side of kinky sex, then check out this video right here.